Hey guys, now I'm sure you're already aware of the strange incident that once occurred in the small county of Roswell, New Mexico in the year 1947. Subsequently covered up and wiped from the archives of history by the US government's Men in Black. But what many of you might not be aware of is the peculiar report made on July 15, 2008 by the Physical Sciences Department at Eastern New Mexico University in regards to an amazing discovery made at the crash site some years later by auto repairman Robert Ridge. While deer hunting in the area on the 4th of September 2004, Ridge found a chocolate-colored sandstone very close to the crash site with a remarkable worked engraving visible on its front. It has become known as the Roswell Rock, measuring 5 cm by 4.3 cm and weighing 50.78 grams, with one end twice as thick as the other. The strange pattern has beveled edges and is raised more than an eighth of an inch up from the surface of the rock. During research attempts to decipher the pattern upon the stone, it was subsequently matched to an extraordinary crop circle, which occurred on August 2, 1996, at Liddington Castle in Wiltshire, England. The formation was made on standing wheat, yet on the rock the pattern is not raised, but beveled making this stone seem like a matching opposite piece to an as yet unknown puzzle. Lab test results concluded that upon the back of the stone, where three pits were visible, was likely where larger grains had fell out over time. However, a pattern was deliberately placed on the back, found with a series of embedded calcite-like crystals in the shape of an X or cross. They also discovered the stone had a strong magnetic attraction, narrowed down to the presence of magnetite. An Energy Dispersive Fluorescence Spectrometer, or EDXRF, confirmed the presence of this strange iron material. Strangely, when magnetic influence is over the thickest end of the rock, the rock turns counterclockwise. However, when above the lower crescent and circle, the thinnest end of the rock, the rock reverses and turns clockwise. Some have concluded this is a deliberately placed riddle in the form of a clue or message. Varying clockwise and counterclockwise plant lays are a fundamental characteristic of authentic crop formations worldwide. Eleven years on after he found it, Ridge thankfully still has the stone, which he states is in a safe deposit box most of the time. Apparently, he hasn't tried to sell it, and even agreed to allow Giorgio Socalos of Ancient Aliens to do some testing on it during a 2014 special of the History Channel's In Search of Aliens. When geologist Bill Dolman suggested that Ridge allow he and Giorgio to apply a grinder to the backside of the stone in order to collect some dust for analysis, Ridge reluctantly agreed, but became clearly emotional, even tearful during the process. It would appear Ridge does in fact have a deep emotional attachment to his find, but was cooperating with the History Channel's efforts to try to learn more about it via magnetic testing, CT scanning, and spectroscopic elemental analysis. Thanks to Robert Ridge's diligent efforts, the stone remains in existence. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. There are many unique ancient megastructures that can be found all over the world, with Japan being no exception. However, interestingly, some of these extremely ancient earthworks cannot be found anywhere else on Earth. Known as a Kufan, these unique yet highly recognizable shaped earthworks Translated as meaning ancient mound tomb or ancient grave in Japanese, we feel could quite possibly also be found upon Mars. Not only could, but may have already been located and identified. Of course, without actually visiting the planet, we cannot confirm this beyond doubt. Yet the similarities between these two locations is unquestionably compelling. The best-known Kofun within Japan is known as the Dyson Kofun, approximately 500 meters long and 300 meters across at its widest point. It is an enormous ancient structure, with the entire tomb perimeter measuring in at 840 meters long. Enclosed by three moats, the mound rises approximately 35 meters above the surrounding terrain. The inner moat is the widest at approximately 60 meters with the entire mound being approximately 100,000 square meters in area, and the entire tomb some 460,000 square meters. Today, the tomb is off-limits, 
protected by the Imperial Household Agency, in the center of Sakai City. The moats are maintained and provide a sanctuary for fish and water birds. Although, conveniently, the mound itself has been left completely overgrown by vegetation, this regardless of the risk of deterioration by the roots of trees, along with the additional point of them being tourist attractions, one has to wonder whether this deliberate choice to leave them completely obscured by trees is actually an attempt to conceal their shape from the rest of the world. Why leave such clearly important ancient structures engulfed in trees, with root systems left to flourish that are notorious for destroying ancient structures? Why make such a decision if they were not indeed attempting to conceal these enigmatic earthworks? We strongly suspect, although with only circumstantial evidence of course, that a lost civilization, possibly a mother civilization of Earth, will one day be confirmed upon Mars. It continues to be a puzzling question as to why some of the most ancient ruins on Earth are also seemingly the most advanced. Is this fact suggestive of intercontinental travel? Possibly our highly advanced ancient ancestors having built such awe-inspiring structures upon their arrival to our planet after traveling here from Mars? Could there possibly be ancient Kofuns, and indeed other ancient structures and tombs still left upon the Red Planet, waiting to be rediscovered, waiting to inform our modern civilization of another chunk of human history? Why are these enigmatic, iconic ancient Kofuns only found within Japan? Why does this anomaly on Mars look exactly like one? Why do the Japanese continue to conceal the Kofun's true shape beneath dense tree lines? We find all of these suspicious factors highly compelling. There is a growing number of evidence being correlated worldwide every day, increasingly adding the pressure upon modern historical paradigms incredibly strong arguments for the chronology of man being vastly incorrect. Archaeological proofs that our history on this planet has not only been massively underestimated, but unfortunately, due to its doctrine for creation stimulating a large stream of wealth, individuals have become transfixed on this following's flow of financial backing, going to great lengths to protect these investments. This has resulted in a steadfast position by those in the upper echelons of historical, geological, even artistic academic circles. A seemingly immovable so-called conclusion in regards to all developed, already printed, funded investigative current claims to all historical sites. Yet their ignorance to that which disproves said hypothesis being their Achilles' heel as all near smoking gun evidence to the contrary of their claims seemingly feared to be approached, we feel as they would lack the ability to disprove such data as accurate. With qualified persons in positions of trust, having their careers ruined for refusing to reject their own findings, the Bering Strait being on example, the migratory land bridge theory crucial to these funded upheld theories timelines with man claimed to have entered Europe across it at a precise time in Earth's history, yet it now being a theory proven inaccurate in a number of areas, along with countless other examples exposing the true magnitude of this current historical deception. In our opinion, initially arising from the potential profit seen by some as a hybrid form of New World Religious Origin Theory. It has, however, now gained a complete monopoly over the curriculum giving supposed definitive explanatory claimed factual information about relics one simply could confidently convey unless undertaking in deception, as if attempting to create an illusion of all-knowing. This attitude of all-knowing add to this actively ignoring that which clearly contradicts said claims of ruins and their historical account as a whole proves beyond doubt they are partaking in a ruse. Yet I digress. For as initially mentioned, growing evidence worldwide is disproving currently mainstream-held opinions with our next subject of interest 
symbolically making academia fall on their own sword. Their own dating of these unexplained sites made before they were discovered elsewhere. Upon in-depth study, or indeed past knowledge of similar anomalies, one can link proof that sites on separate continents and hemispheres of each other are identical in form. A self-inflicted faux pas, exposure of academics' inability to accurately date sites, or indeed mankind. The Keyhole Graves, a mass of which has recently been found along an ancient road within Saudi Arabia. Yet amazingly, when we covered these graves before, it wasn't another continent these were found on, predating oceanic travel, but one identical in shape, possibly on Mars. Found throughout Asia and notoriously forbidden to be entered, now, however, the Saudis seem keen to investigate so that their inhabitants may soon be exposed. Could this be a mass grave of ancient aliens? Once buried in this unusual style, one we also believe could possibly be resting upon the Martian surface, we find such possibility hugely fascinating.